Yo yo people, Gary to Dune here for another video and this video is going to be in Farming Simulator 19 and today we are going to be working at the fire station and I wanted to use this Flintstone car at the beginning just because I haven't found a purpose for it and it's getting pretty old of a mod. So there you go, it's in the intro, hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll probably never use it again. But here are the vehicles we'll be moving today. We're going to have to be taking these across the water on a big hover boat. So yeah, we start off with this right here. It's a Toyota Land Cruiser. And we've seen this before in the game. Uh, it's a pretty cool mod, I believe, originally made by Expendables Modding. And then was worked on by Lambo Mods. Same thing goes with the trailer, if I remember correctly. I'm not quite sure who made this one in the middle. But it's kind of a different style fire truck. I'm assuming it's not from North America, but I guess I could be wrong about that. And then we have this other ladder truck. Now this is different than the ones we currently have at the station. This was also made by Lambo Mods not too long ago. We have this big water tank and this thing can hold quite a bit. We even have a display on the side, which is pretty cool. And yeah, there's two other ones. We'll go over those once we are ready to transport them. But let's go ahead and get started here. So we'll start with the Toyota Land Cruiser, just because I want to get this mobile command trailer out of here as well. Here we go. All right, let's see how that is. Uh, it seems pretty good. And here is the lighting configuration. I'm definitely a fan. I've talked about this one before in past series. Uh, very, very nice. Nice and bright. We'll let everyone know that we are coming. But I'm going to leave that off because this is one of those vehicles that activates a siren if the lights are going. And that can get a little bit annoying when you are trying to go code 3. Or, I mean code 2. Whoops. <laughs> I'm getting my codes confused. So the reason I'm backing it up is because we're going to be driving forward once we get to the docking point. So we'll just have easy access. And I feel like the next vehicle we should grab would probably be the ladder truck. And that's because it just fits on really nicely. And I want to get this thing out of here. So we'll put it right beside on the boat. And again, nice configuration. Now, this is really cool because obviously it has supports. But on top of that, the ladder goes so far out. Uh, I don't even know if we'll be able to show it in frame. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. And obviously we can climb up this with no issues. Just hop on here and there we go. And we can shoot the water from this area. It actually does function as well, which is pretty cool. But let's head back down and load it onto the boat. And this does have quite a few camera angles as well. So we have obviously our third person view. We can go first person and check this thing out. <laughs> Lots of seats in here, that's pretty nice. Unfortunately, there is a giant divider in the center. I'm guessing there's some components there. We have this backup camera to let you kind of see the area around. And then obviously the camera position that's in the bucket. So just like the last one, we're going to try to back this thing up in here. Now it's going to be a little bit more challenging because there are the vehicles there. Alrighty, not too bad. Now let's start the boat up and move the ramps to the upwards position. All right, so in two minutes, this thing will be ready to get moving. So I'll be back when this is fully turned on. And now we can hit the open waters. Now, only one of the vehicles have actually strapped down. So it's going to be moving around that Toyota Land Cruiser quite a bit. But okay, we got to start slowing down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't hit anything. All right. Look to be good. That actually was pretty good driving. We should be making a touchdown here in three, two, one, boop. There we go. Then we can move the ramp back down, move the straps, and get the stuff unloaded. So we're starting off with the Toyota Land Cruiser. Here we go. Let's get on moving. Now this should have no issues getting up the hill. Uh, and you guys were suggesting a bunch of names last video, which I really do appreciate. But no one really seemed to agree on a certain one. I saw a lot of people just saying to call it the Big Nasty. But that's what the other hill in the game is called. So I don't want to have them both name the same thing. So I guess I'll ask the question again. If you have any ideas for what we should call this thing, let me know. It's obviously really muddy, so you can incorporate that in some way if you want to. Or we could just give it a super random name that has no relevance. All right, we made it to the top. And whenever I enter this area, I definitely start getting some lag. So whenever I look at the vehicles, so 
We might have to move some of these out of here, but I want to bring more, not less. The other solution would be upgrading my computer, but I don't really have the funds to do that right now, so I'll have to make do with what we got. And we're just going to throw this at the side because there's nowhere else we can really put it. Don't want to hit anything around us. Oh, geez. Okay. Do not mean for the trailer to turn that much. It would look to be all good. And now we can get the ladder truck off. And by the way, this is the other design that we were using before. So quite different, but both work. So let's move this thing off of here. And of course, got to use some of our special camera angles for it. We're going to try doing the rest of the drive in this camera view. I've never really been able to successfully do this before, so hopefully there'll be a first for everything. Yeah, okay, let's try making our way up. I have no clue where our wheels are currently. Oh, geez. All right, not the best approach, but we look to have enough power to still make it on up. Oh, yeah, this thing is trucking through with no issues at all. Probably one of the easiest vehicles to drive up, and that's saying something because obviously this is quite large. Yeah, guys, my game is struggling here. Oh my, sorry for the dropped frames. Now, I want to leave this thing under here, but I don't really know if this is going to make sense to do. Honestly, if we put it beside the bus, it shouldn't really make any kind of impact because that bus is only used on very specific calls. Oh, and the boat turned off. No, okay, we're going to have to start this thing back up. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Um, I'm gonna give this a shot in first person. I think we'll manage as long as I don't hit anything on the exit and So far so good. I love how much faster it feels when we're in first person versus third person view because Honestly, I did not feel this fast before. Let's try not to hit any of the buoys when coming on in I want to take this thing because it's so unique and different than the other ones we have with us Here's the interior view. It's actually quite nice. We've got a laptop over there and plenty of very comfortable seating, it looks like. Yeah, definitely not a North American lighting style, at least not one that I've seen before. Oh, I really like that sign at the back, though, that says stay clear. That's really cool. But here we are. Let's throw this thing onto the boat. Okay, that should be good. I'm not too worried about backing this thing up because it's quite small. And I guess we can take this engine now. So here is our first look at engine 44. Uh, now this we've used in the past. I personally say this is my favorite interior for all of the emergency vehicles. Just because it's so clean looking and there's quite a bit going on. And then we have our lights on top. And as you saw there, a different camera angle as well. So this is pretty cool and it can hold water for different calls with a hitch not only on the back, but on the front too. Obviously that attach point at the front is really good for when we have to attach a winch. We can probably only fit one more on here. I'm not too sure which one to grab. Uh, let's go with, no, well, let's go with this one because the other vehicle is a bit longer. And if we have to do another trip, it's best to just have that by itself. And here is the lighting configuration. It also says stay clear on the back, quite nice. And the interior looks like this. Now we're missing our side mirrors. So luckily we can peek our head out the window if need be, but it would be nice to have those. Now this one I'll back up just because we have a nice approach. So there we go. And we can shut this bad boy off. Now it's time to fold up the ramps, put down the straps, and we can get on moving. Now, I don't think any of these actually strap down. Uh, wait, there might be one of them that does. Oh, yeah. Okay, so at least one of them is locked in place. Maybe more. I'm not too sure. But either way, we will be driving like an absolute madman. There we go. Okay, turn faster. What are you doing? There we go. Why was that so difficult? You can really tell the difference when there is a load versus nothing on here. I guess because there are so many vehicles, these all probably weigh a few thousand pounds but okay oh no oh we hit it yep oh, okay come on oh really why do we have to hit the wall luckily this thing can drive on land well kind of can drive on land not really for too long of distances but it can get moving if need be we're just going to pretend there's no damage to those vehicles because the department is out of money so let's bring engine 44 off of here 
There we go. Alright, watch out for the water. We've already fallen in before, if you guys remember with the Jeep. That was not a good day. Honestly, it was pretty funny. I did not plan out that Jeep going in the water at all. Like, it just ended up happening in the video. And obviously, I left it in. And then we did a recovery video following it up. And due to the dropped frame rates, we are definitely going to have to get rid of some of these engines. So, you guys are going to have to let me know which ones you don't care about. Uh, if you guys don't, then I'll just choose myself. But I want you guys' input. There are so many over here. And... We just don't need them all. I would love to keep all of them if the game could handle it, but my computer just does not like it. Now we can get this thing off of here. And honestly, I don't know if we're going to need to grab that last tanker. We already have quite a few, so we'll probably just bring that other engine and then call it a day. Whoa, okay, slow on down. Okay, no, 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 no. Turn the wheel. There we are. That was some terrible driving. Alrighty, back at the fire station. And since we don't really have another spot to put this, I'm going to have to move it in here as well. So it's going to be a bit challenging to back on up in. But it looks like we are all good. Let's take the final engine off of here. And hopefully everything will continue going smoothly. This is probably one of the first videos that it's just kind of worked. Obviously we hit the hill, but... Nothing too bad happened from that, so I'm not too worried. Okay, we are off of the hill. Come on, get back on there. There we go. It's all about the recovery. Once we get everything organized and decide which vehicles we are going to send to our other stations, we'll hopefully have a spot that that can go. So that's the end of this video. Why not click the secret video in the top right corner? But first, make sure to subscribe and click the thumbs up button down below. That's also where you can find my Discord server in the description. There are many different links such as my Twitter, Instagram, Patreon page, merchandise store, and even the Garrett Plays membership link. You guys are awesome. Bye bye.